proxy server. So this is for basically when you have a multiple application in your workspace, and then you really want to give them, uh, you know, specific user uh, URL, basically, if I say. Uh, for example, if you see this one, I could see epics.ontoolsolutions.com and then it goes to the application uh, uh, alias. So that is the specific uh, URL for this particular, uh, you know, application. But what if you have multiple application in your workspace, something like administrator, something like, uh, HRMS, so you might need to give them different, diff different, different uh, URL. So to do so, we need this proxy server setting. So if I show you, uh, for example, let's say something like, uh, let's say Vikas uh, dot, uh, let me put something meaningful, dot on to solutions.com and it should be HTTPS. So this kind of URL as in proxy server, we want to give it. And if I apply changes, so uh, changes are saved. So currently this application is running on the apex.ontoolsolutions.com. But if I now run it, so what it should be giving me, uh, it should be giving me you know, all the rendering through this particular URL. So this domain should be, you know, pointing out to that particular application as well. So it will help us for, uh, you know, you know, segregating multiple applications. Like if you have seen gmail.google.com and drive.google.com, something like that. So to achieve this one, what we need to do, you need to go to your domain provider. And uh, for this one, we have a particular IP for our server. And if I add a record to uh, uh, you know, this subdomain, what we have used here as in Vikas, and then domain we already have, and the IP we need to put this one. So that's a record we are using. And if we go to the custom, it's just a refresh rate if I go and then save it. And right after the saving, if you keep reload, reloading in, after a couple of time, it should be uh, uh application once the godaddy is ready to map the proxy server you should be able to see the same application as it is running here uh, should be accessible through this particular url let me try in the incognito mode as well and it will take a couple of okay we can slightly how much time it, it looks uh, we have given the 600 frequency so you see it, it is giving up now. So not mm -hmm. secured, you can see, you know, initially it was giving us, you know, no access for the site, but now it is giving me HTTPS as in, you know, you don't have the certificate, it is certificate error. For our, this mm -hmm. particular instance on the OCI, we don't have the uh, certificate for this subdomain. We need to include that certificate. But for now, what I could do, I could just ignore the certificate and access this one. You see, so we can access other stuff. And over here, if we uh, just change the, um, what do we call uh, the application stuff? Application. Uh, probably, uh, I think we could see other way, but this is the way as of now I have find. I will figure out other stuff if we could just do this much more better way uh, to understanding this uh, proxy server settings. So you see the same application is accessible here as well. Uh, 